for you. Mark, let's change gears. Uh, you had wanted to talk about this gay wedding cake that was uh, refused by a cake maker. They refused to make said cake. And now apparently there is a fine that has been issued, some sort of a, a ruling. Is this a court that decided to do this? Well, it's, What's going on? It Where's it It's happening? a fine. Um, it's Oregon. Um, it's coming from theexaminer.com. Uh, on Thursday, Aaron and Melissa Klein, owners of Sweet Cakes by Melissa, were ordered to pay $135,000 to a lesbian couple for refusing to bake a wedding cake. They were also essentially stripped of their First Amendment rights with a gag order that prohibits them from discussing how their Christian beliefs shape their views what? on gay marriage. The Commissioner of the Bureau of Labor and Industries hereby orders Aaron and Melissa Klein to cease and desist from publishing, circulating, issuing, or issuing or displaying or causing to be published any communication to the effect that <laughs> any of the uh, accommodations will be refused, withheld, or denied, or that any discrimination uh, be made against any person on account of their sexual orientation. Hold on. Which organization issued this? Commissioner of the uh, Bureau of Labor and Industries. So then, no court then. Well, they, I mean, you know, what do you care? Uh, here, they're, well, they're the ones. They're the ones that give out the, the license. If you don't have a license, you can't uh, do business. Oh, so they're licensed. Yeah. Everybody's licensed, man. Not that me. does business. Not me. No, just I'm about. I'm not interested in in their licenses. Excellent. I'm glad that you mentioned. I don't to... want their permission slips. But by the way, I support gay marriage. I, you know, I think it's fine for. Gay people to get married or for three people to get married or for four people. I don't care. It's your life. It's your personal decision. You Anybody should, should be able to contract with anyone else yeah. if they want to live together and, and make commitments for their, their lives. And the right to contract also includes the right not to contract. Yep. So, therefore, if you walk through my front door as a business owner and you say, I want to buy your advertising, Mark and Ian, I love your show. Let me buy a bunch of your advertising for the KKK. And we say no. I don't want racist advertising on Free Talk Live. Should we be fined for that? Should there be some bureaucracy that comes in there and says, well, you have to give service to anyone that comes through your door and sell advertising to anybody, even someone advertising a scam or racism or whatever? No. I have the right to say no as a business owner. At least that's what I thought. Apparently, well, that's not the case in Oregon. Right. Um, so what this is, uh, so this is, I've supported gay marriage up to this point. I don't support gays getting government marriage license anymore. I don't suppose anyone is, getting support anyone getting a government well, I marriage. I did up to this point, and this is the reason I don't now. Is because, well, here we go. Somebody went and just went too far with it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you shouldn't. Th th this gay couple, this lesbian couple. Let me guess, they were attorneys. I don't know whether they are. I don't have any. Um, yeah. I don't have any information on that. They're doing the happy dance around this cake because they're sure not going to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, who would eat a cake made by somebody who hated cake. them? Yeah. Um, that's uh, It's absolutely and patently ridiculous. No one would do that. This is just a way to control other people, and I think it's really, really wrong. Um, I think that gays and straights and everybody should be able to marry, but I think the government should get out of the business of marriage licenses at this point because we've shown that they're only used to harm people. Um, it's, you know, yeah, I'm just none. I'm done. I'm sick of this. Uh, this people wanting to use the legal system to harm other people for their beliefs. If your belief is, is that gay people are bad for whatever reason, then that should be your belief system. And you shouldn't have to do business with people that, uh, you know, you don't want to do business with. That's fine. And as I shouldn't as have to do business with those people. Agreed. I should, I want to know who these, uh, who the, who the, uh, you know, the bigoted, the bigoted. cake, cake makers are. Right. I want to know that information because I'm not going to give them my business exactly but if that's their belief system they should be able to do it and this is this is one of the tests right can Testing. you live with other people because if you're forcing other people to uh to you know do business the way you want them to do business you can't you can't get along you can't mm -hmm. handle diversity because yep. that's what this is this is a diversity of opinion that's an interesting way to put it mark i think you're right on there because a lot of the people who support gay marriage would say they support diversity but 
they don't actually. If they're saying that you have to pet, you have to make a cake for somebody that you don't agree with, for somebody that has a lifestyle that you disagree with, then you're saying conform. You're saying you need to conform to our beliefs so we can feel comfortable that you know everybody out there likes us. Right, and obviously this isn't going to stop Christians that have bakeries or uh, florists, Christian florists, from uh, doing what they want to do. It's just going to stop them from telling the truth. If you came and you forced me to bake it, you know, we're going to try to try to, you know, like, oh, I want you to make a cake for my gay couple. And I'm some kind of, uh, you know, religious fanatic or whatever that has these opinions. All I'm going to say is, sorry, I just can't make cakes right now. I'm so booked. And now you've got, you know, you're going to have to Prove go on. Otherwise. You're going to have to go on and find the next person who's too gullible to uh, to tell you the real reason. That's fine. There's lots of gay cake makers out there. You can get your cake. Mm -hmm. You'll be just fine. You'll get yeah, a you fabulous get cake. You want to get the cake right. that'll you cash in. You won't get one hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars out of some Christian couple that was that was bold enough to tell you the truth about what they thought. Mm -hmm. That blessed you and your life enough with the truth. To be honest, you can't yeah. get truth in this life. And when you get it, you sue somebody it's, it's disgusting up. it really is 